Hi there, my name is um, Juan Flores. My pronouns are he, they, and él. I am a third year public affairs uh, major and a public health minor, um, and I am running for the community service commissioner seat. Awesome, so what makes you qualified to serve as community service commissioner? And what are some of your past experiences going into this? Absolutely, um, so for uh, this recent academic year, I've been part of the Community Service Commission. I have served as the Outreach Director, and what that role entails is um, primarily working to fill in gaps in resources for student organizations that are under the Commission. And this year, I focus on a project related to building the service organization's readiness for COVID-19 safety practices and um, preparedness in case there is a positive case in their organization. Uh, we have all seen how um, UCLA has been accommodating changing regulations and policies regarding to COVID-19 safety, and our students are working out in the community with high risk and um, medically underserved populations, so it's important that they are fully equipped to go out to the community and are safe and are resourceful so that they com can come back to campus and are not spreading COVID to our peers while they're in lecture halls, in discussion sections, or just you know their daily activity here on campus. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, and could you provide us with a brief outline of the platforms that you're gonna be running on this year? Absolutely. Um, so to kind of like preface um, my platforms, I think that I'm really inspired by all the momentum and student advocacy that has happened the past two um, to three academic years. Um, so in 2020, we saw the student organizing around Black Lives Matter, and um, this year we uh, have seen students organize around hybrid access and, dis and disability justice with the Murphy Hall students. And I was really inspired by that because I think it positions us in a really solid, um, like foundational moment where we can create a plan on how do we move forward because we're having these hard and tough conversations. I think that is important that we collectively build a comprehensive and inclusive mutual aid movement. Um, and so to build this mutual aid movement, I think um, a guided service declaration document is my first priority as um, commissioner. Um, and so this guided service declaration document will be created, um, my vision for it is to be created um, with all service orgs and to be created um, to align and unify missions, goals, values for service. Um, and all other um, platforms kind of stem from building that partnership and coalition between service orgs that do similar or overlapping work with specific um, disadvantaged uh, communities. And just overall making sure that there's effective streamlined communication between commissions, between service orgs, and between service orgs and commissions. Excuse me. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing. Um, so how would you, in your role as Community Service Commissioner, actively work to represent the Bruin community as a whole, and especially those who feel underrepresented either in USAC or within the Bruin community? Yeah, um, so I personally um, am like a grassroots community organizer. That's kind of like my background in community service is making sure that we're meeting people where they're at. And I feel like um, I align with, um, I share many of the needs that marginalized or underserved students space. And I think that that's what I'm bringing to the table is that diversity, but also that um, nuanced perspective that it's not just about being people where they are at, um, like creating accessible um, meetings, creating accessible information, but it's making uh, clear why students should be passionate about these issues as well, um, which I think is sets me apart from um, other grassroots organizers. Awesome. And are there any other details that you would like to share with the student body or anything else that you would like to mention regarding your background or experiences? Yeah, so um, this quarter I was appointed um, for the, on the Student Risk Education C um, Committee, which is housed under the Community Programs Office. Um, and this uh, committee focuses on building uh, instructional material for service organizations doing activities on and off campus. And this is actually one of the committees that the uh, Community Service Commissioner sits on. So I think that um, my transition into this role um, is going to be uh, made much more effective and easier as I'm actually already taking on these tasks that the Commissioner will hold in the 2022 and 2023 academic year. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Juan. Cool. And I have kind of a follow-up question on that same topic there. Um, so working with the current Community Service Commissioner, um, what are some things that you might have learned or some things that you might want to do differently that the student body will look at your term versus their term? And, and even though you worked with them, they'd say, oh, this was different because Juan is in office now. Yeah, um, so uh, Momina, uh, who is the current commissioner, has done such an amazing job, and she's um, passing on the torch of our predecessors that have actively uh, mobilized for um, making more services and resources available for service orgs. Um, I think what uh, I am bringing to the table that is different is that I'm um, really building a solid foundation for uh, student organizations to feel that they are in solidarity with one each other and that they have some sort of kind of like um, community care um, and coalesce, a coalition based um, um, partnerships where they uh, leverage resources and they really work together. I feel like that's what I'm trying to create is that um, we've done so much work, but we haven't really um, made sure that we have established clear relationships that outline um, kind of that we're doing the same work and that we need to make sure that we're not working in competition with each other, right. but we're actually working in union with each right, other. Right, right. Is there a particular, I guess, like student organization or group of student organizations that you think um, makes like a particularly valuable contribution to community service here on campus? Is there some, some orgs that you feel like maybe you're underfunded or it's something that you would want to direct more resources to because you've seen them and seen them grow and have an appreciation for them? Absolutely. So I think that's an amazing question because um, the Community Service Commission has specific service orgs that are under them and that have specific access to benefits for being under the commission, but um, uh, which kind of like se separates uh, stu uh, student orgs into being USAC, like CSC affiliated and not affiliated. Right. Um, and so I feel like one of the organizations that have been longstanding and not necessarily part of uh, CSC are mother orgs. So I think um, building some sort of partnership with them, I personally believe that they should almost, that, that we should have a seat on USAC specifically for mother orgs to um, have some sort of voice since they have a long standing platform. Um, so I think that uh, for, for my uh, term, um, if given the seat for commissioner, I think that's uh, what I would like to work on is making sure that we're uh, allocating resources effectively, but also we're having those conversations about, okay, we've classified this organization as being qualified and um, the only beneficiary for a specific resource while others are not really uh, accessing those right. resources. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it's just like determining, kind of revisiting what you would qualify as community service in that whole definition. Exactly. Yeah, awesome. Um, I think maybe the only other thing that I would like you to speak on is just the fact that you are running unopposed. Um, is there anything that you could tell maybe to the student body, a student who's concerned, like, this person's unopposed, how do I know they're qualified and I'm not just tossing my vote, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can you tell them to give them confidence that you're going to do a great job no matter what the competition is? Absolutely. Um, so I think, um, well, this, anyone can run for USAC and anyone can run for a different USAC um, council seat. Um, I'm coming from the actual commission. I think that's what differentiates me from um, maybe someone who, as an uncontested person, but also someone who's already works inside the commission and has key institutional knowledge. Um, I already know how the organization is structured, the committee, the commission is structured. Um, I already know um, generally who's going to be on staff next year, um, and I already have those existing relationships. So I think I um, am not only coming to this to the table um, with already this knowledge, but I'm coming with a bunch of uh, peers that support me and empower me um, and will enlighten me in the case um, that I need to make you know, critical decisions or need to um, really be a leader in that. Right, so you're not in this alone, so I get to build something from the ground up. Exactly. Okay. Awesome, great to hear that. Um, I think that's everything we had. Really great talking to you, obviously very qualified, so we'll look forward to hearing more from you throughout the year. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you so much for sharing, Juan. Thank you.